In this lesson, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite functionalities with ChatGPT, which is tabular formatting. So let's get into it. Using tabular formatting with ChatGPT allows for you to create clear organization and presentation of data, which is why it's one of my favorite parts. This makes it easier for the user, AKA you, to analyze and comprehend the output, which leads to a more accurate understandings and insights. So here's what our formula would be, and this is in a multi-step process. So we wanna start with your question. The next prompt that you wanna do is, what are the different categories you can break your answers into for more descriptiveness? And third, now create one single table that includes your original answer with these new categories separated into different columns. So let's just go ahead and hop into what this actually looks like. And we're gonna do zero shot prompting, as you know by now. We're not gonna add any bells and whistles to this prompt. We're gonna focus on the tabular formatting versus creating a dynamic prompt. So our question is, what are the main factors of growing a YouTube channel? Great, so we have our six part answer about consistency, quality, SEO optimization, collaboration, and promoting your channel. Now I wanna do part two of this prompt, which is what are the different categories you can further break your answer into for more descriptiveness? This second part of the prompt is going to essentially break down your original question into six subtopics. Then we wanna paste in our third part of this prompt. Now create one table that includes your original answer with these categories separated into different columns. Perfect, so what this did is it took our original output and it categorized it in tabular format, which for me personally is so much easier to look at, comprehend, and quickly understand. So we have different columns with different rows that have this information just organized so much better. And we can go down the rabbit hole of asking ChatGPT to expand on even more different columns. So we ask, what other categories can you add to this table? It added a branding column, a promotions column, and a monetization column. So this is one of my favorite prompting frameworks because tabular format is so much easier to look at. It's visually just easier on the eyes and you can literally use it for any type of output using ChatGPT. So I'm excited to see what you come up with with this prompt and I'll see you in the next lesson.